All right, we do have another speaker who has been not a good, not a teacher, but a but a good parent because she was working with her, going to a meeting, a required meeting, meet with her her child's uh, coach. I guess that's what it was. Our next speaker, and uh, I use that income tax excuse yet for not remembering too much of an introduction about her, but I want to say a couple of things. She was the keynote speaker at District 12's TLI just a year or so ago. I uh, did a bang up job when she did that. And she gave me some choices about what to speak about. And she, and the one I thought was going to be the hottest one of the day, and that's the one she's going to be speaking about. And let me read it exactly. Unlocking the power of AI to drive business growth and innovation as a speaker. Boy, AI is the hottest topic going around. There's something about Tom Hanks and a, a commercial for dental insurance or something where it's not really him. It's somebody, example of him. And so there's great positives. And I've heard wonderful things about the possibility of finding cures for diseases and that sort of thing. So there's a lot in AI. And I think we will hear from Kimberly Smith Austin about the power of AI. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tom, for the opportunity. Good evening to my fellow uh, Toastmaster Speaker Bureau members. I am so excited to be here with you all tonight. As Tom mentioned, I was off at a parent meeting, so I do apologize for my late attendance, but I hope to make it up in tonight's presentation. I do have a PowerPoint. I'm not sure if sharing capabilities are on, and it looks like they are. So I will be sharing my screen with you all. Um, what's great about what I'm doing is I'm sharing using one of today's hottest tools that also incorporates AI. So if you haven't used it, here's a tremendous opportunity to see it in action. Now, just to give you a little background of who I am, I am Kimberly Smith Austin, a business growth strategist. I spent many years in corporate America working with CEOs and organizations as a management consulting, helping them build their entities from process improvement to change management, strategic planning, as you can see, high performance coaching, international speaker, best-selling author, and Tom, I actually have 22 years at the university level teaching strategy and business and all those fun things. And then of course, um, you may not know, but I also have a podcast. Here's some of the companies I've served. And the reason I give this is just to give you a little background. Spent a lot of years in an IT tech company. My original major from college was information technology and how I've always used it as a tool. But when I recognized that I had a skill as a speaker, as a teacher, I kind of transitioned a little bit. And so here's some of the folks I've worked with and served over the years. And this is just a handful. But I want to start tonight by asking each and every one of you a question. You know a little bit about me, but help me learn a little bit about you. Now, I know you're all here because you're at Speakers Bureau, but for those of you that are here online and can respond in the chat, please do so. How do you want to grow as a speaker? And that's me making an assumption that all of you want to grow because you're in Speakers Bureau. But A says, I want to just improve my overall communication. Maybe you're here because you want to grow in your career, career growth and career advancement. Maybe you're looking at increase your professional network. And we know that speaking is powerful. Or maybe you say, you know what? I want to grow and develop a speaking business. So wherever you are, I want you to throw it in the chat. Those of you that are online and for those folks that are live and in person, maybe look to the person to your left and right and tell them why you want to grow as a speaker. And that's assuming you want to grow. If you don't, tell them, eh, I'm just here having a good time. And that's okay too. Now, let's look at this whole talk about what is artificial intelligence. We've heard the term, but what is this really? AI is the use of computer systems to simulate human mental processes, such as interpreting and generating language. Now, we know that there's only one of you, only one of you. And as a result of there only being one of you, we're going to look at AI and see how it could possibly simulate, emulate you and what you want to accomplish as a speaker. Little background on AI. It's been around for a long time. We heard it, but we didn't know about it. We didn't touch and feel and experience it. 
Back in 1956, John McCarthy introduced the term at a Dartmouth conference at a university setting. They started doing some knowledge, logic-based training, but it wasn't until 1980s that it actually became more accessible by way of PCs. Now, I'll tell you, I just did a conference on Saturday, this past Saturday, where I talked a little bit about AI as well. But if you look at this timeline, and I don't want to really delve into it deeply, but I want you to look at those key points. Again, the beginning, the golden age of science fusion, if you will, early 1900s, and then 1956, looking at how Dartmouth brought it up as a term, you continue to see it's moving its way along. But guess what? We're 2023, and we're just really getting our hands on it. 2020, I started seeing a little bit more, but now it's a buzzword. Everyone knows it. Everyone's heard of it. Now, here's the question. Is everyone using it? No, it's still underused. And I imagine that some of you here in our audience today probably haven't even used it yourself. So today I want to talk a little bit about how you can utilize it personally as a speaker. But let's look at some organizations that have been using AI for some time. Google, did you know that Google's been using AI for over 20 years? Yes, I said 20 years. Now, here's my favorite. I just returned from Europe last Friday. My favorite tool while there was Translate. I went to Turkey, which they speak Turkish. I went to Germany. There's German. And then I went to Czech Republic and in and, and Prague. Czech Republic, and they spoke, and I was able to use the Google Translate tool to communicate simple terms, hello, thank you, all those formal greetings, using AI. Thank goodness that Google created that tool. And then how about, hey Siri, if you have, Apple, you know, guess what, my Apple phone and my Apple computer that I'm speaking to, Siri just popped up and said, yes, Kimberly, that's another tool that we use. Maybe you're on the Google platform and you're using Alexa. That's another tool. These companies have been using it for over 20 years. Now, it wasn't available here in the marketplace for us until some years later, but they've been around. So again, nothing new, but something new to our hands. So here's what I say to you today. AI is not the future of technology, despite what you've been hearing. It is the technology of today. Today, it's shaping our future. And I want you to think about how your future is as a speaker, maybe how your future is as a, even as a parent, as a consumer, as a employee at any company, AI is touching every aspect of our world. In fact, it was my 16 year old who made me go back and revisit AI. Having been familiar with it for many, many years, he started talking about these new apps and tools that he was using. Okay. And I said, wait a minute, let me look at this. And I started using it more and more and more. And here's what I believe. The future of AI. We have two options, embrace or be erased. That's it. It's simple. When we think about how computers came and took our world by the storm, we know that Companies that did not embrace technology, that continued doing manual paper processes, somehow became uh, disappeared. They, they vanished from the world and their business practices became very archaic. And I want to challenge you all today to think about how you can embrace this technology and use it not just for a day to day, but maybe as a speaker as you grow. Now, the number one most popular tool right now in the space is ChatGPT. If you've used ChatGPT Chat or you've at least heard it, raise your hand. Yes, I see Mr. Olson raising his hand. I see Jazz raising her hand. Yes, 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 Michael. Thank you. I'll use this tool. Now, uh, Judy, thank you, thank you. Now, here's a question I want you to ask yourself, and this is a quick cursory review. Where are you with it? How are you using it? Do you love it and you're integrating it into your business daily? Are you using it for a few tasks here and there? Maybe you just started experimenting, exploring the tool, or maybe you're on the other side. I don't use it, I don't like it, and it's not for me. Here's what I've heard more often. And I've been teaching AI probably the last year. As a business strategist, business growth strategy, AI is one of my power tools that I help 
my organizations and clients use so they can leverage and grow and expand their business. But what I know is that chat GPT and so many others have been a critical piece in the marketplace. So when you look at where you are, let's look at how you can change that and really think about where you stand, either on the place of fear, because here's what people are saying. AI is going to replace me. AI is going to take over all the jobs. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you something else. Nope, that's not going to happen. And you know why? Because technology, this AI tool, they need us. They need our human interaction. They need our logic to help tell it what to do and how to do it so that it can be successful and produce the results that we want. And I'll talk a little bit about that in the future. But really quick, fear or are your future focused? Looking at who you can become or what your organization can become or do as a result of using AI. So as you think about that, I put something here, simple. And I use this on a lot of presentations because I talk about four things that every entrepreneur, four things every speaker, four things every business owner must have in order to be successful. Number one is a strategy. Number two, a system. Number three, sales. Without those three things, we know that you're not going to grow. But I think there's something even more important is self-belief. This is simple. Yes, it's a simple term, but it's not always simple to do. And so when you think about self-belief, it's about having confidence in your ability or your judgment. And I believe that this is the one of the four things that can either make or break you. So when you think about AI, you think about being a speaker, we have to believe in our product, believe in our company, and more importantly, believe in ourselves in order to move forward. So when we look at this, I want you to think about why should you use AI? And just thinking about your belief factor and why this can change your world and the world of those that you serve and the people that you're in front of. Number one, efficiency. Number two, insights. Personalization. You're thinking it's a computer talking on my behalf. No, the computer is speaking to enhance what you're bringing to the table. How about better customer service or being able to have a competitive advantage above any other organization? Remember, there's only one of you. And if you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, and you're the only one in the marketplace providing the service, then you need AI. You need to bring it into your world so that you can transform the world as a whole. AI is saving dollars. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. It's saving money. And if you have any budget... <laughs> And again, if you have any budget, there's always a desire to save and decision-making at its very best. But I'm going to speak to how it can help you as speakers specifically, but I think about growth and innovation. By show of hands, how many of you want to grow your business? Yes. Yes. Good, Marilyn. I love it. Yes. Michael, thank you. I'm sure all of you. And I and some of you may not have a business and maybe you're working and at a job and even wanting to help the organization as a whole grow. So let's look at five ways you, each and every one of you here today can use AI for growth. And I'm speaking as a speaker specifically. Now I talk about this in different subject areas, but today we're talking as a speaker. Number one, research. There's a lot of data, data, depending on how you use it, out there that you can take from AI and say, AI, Give me statistics from 2016, from 2019 on this particular topic. This is one of my favorite things to do because I am a research by nature. Number two is brainstorming. Thinking about you have some speech things, some passion points in your heart, things that resonate with you, maybe an industry you've worked in. You can use AI to help you brainstorm some topics, help you brainstorm some points to add to your speech that will really enhance your speech and really give your speakers, your audience, a better perspective. I love number three because that speech development piece. Sometimes you're stuck. You know that you have a great piece. And I love Connie's piece, but she talked about writing. And sometimes we're stuck. R speech giving is writing. We have to write. Use AI to help you get a new point, develop that point further. Now, you may not use every aspect of it, but having it at your hand, at your 
you know, just at your leisure would be a powerful point. Speech analysis. How about we develop a speech? We're feeling okay about it, or maybe we feel amazing about it. We can go and tell AI, here's my audience. Will this speech resonate with the folks that I'm presenting to? Wow, wow, wow. Would we all want to know that? I want to know that when I stand before a crowd, that my speech is going to resonate. It's going to touch base. It's going to connect with them in such a way that I walk away successful. And number five is social media. And if you're growing your business, you want to be able to show up on social media. How often, when, and getting prompts and tools and resources that will help you do that. So you see right here, AI is powerful. And when I say powerful, it truly gives you an competitive advantage. I see right here, I said provide women-owned businesses. That was my last presentation. I didn't fix that one. So it's any businesses, just so you know. But I talk about strategy, system, and sales again. AI is going to be that tool for you. But here's the key thing that I think about. Look at all the ways that you can use it. I've given you a few, but video editing. I have a tool that I'm going to share with you in just a moment that will take your content, take your 30-minute presentation, 60-minute presentation, and chop it down to one-minute segments, two-minute segments, three-minute segments that you can use on YouTube or Instagram or LinkedIn. There's stuff out here to help you grow. How about data entry, engagement? giving you the tools and knowing whether it's SEO or knowing the trigger words, the keywords to use to get out there in the marketplace. It's going to help you make those decisions. But even something as simple as email sorting and filtering. Let me tell you, I was just telling someone today, I have multiple emails because I own multiple businesses. <laughs> One of my emails has 51,000 emails in it, <laughs> 29,000, 7,000. And I think about how I've used email sorting and filtering to eliminate all the junk, the trash. And here's my favorite part, to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. You probably find yourself on list that you did not sign up for. Someone got your email and there you are. So you can see email is there, but more importantly, AI is here. And AI works if, if and only you use it. So let's think about that. <laughs> like anything in our lives, if we don't use it, you lose it. I once was very fluent in Spanish. I stopped speaking Spanish on a regular basis. So guess what happened? <laughs> I lost it. Not completely. There's still some general things I can say. Same thing with French. Fluent in French. I don't use it as often. So guess what? I'm losing it. Same thing with AI. You want to use this tool. You're at the forefront of it because it is still, quote unquote, fairly new. Not new, but fairly new in the marketplace. And this is going to be the tool to help you take the lead. Here's a quote. To embark on the journey towards your goals and dreams require bravery. To remain on that path requires courage. But the bright side that merges the two is the commitment to use it, to do it, and actually engage on with it on a regular and consistent basis. Now, I want you to imagine for a moment your business with better systems, better service, greater influence, greater impact, more revenue, and more sales. What would your world look like? As a speaker, you show up on more stages, you'd have better email sequences, more continuity with those customers after you've spoken. Because we know if you're in, in business as a speaker, standing on a stage is your best business card. That's your best marketing tool. And the more you're there, the more you show up, hopefully you have a product and the end to convert a book, a course, a program, AI can help you build those things, help you automate those things and show up consistently in front of that audience. This is your power. Now, the question is, are you ready to use the power that is presented before you? Now, I want to give you some tools and let you know that AI is the best partnership you can have. It's the perfect partner. 
when I say that, I put two things on this page to really make you think about your perfect partner. And I know as adults, married, or maybe even single, depending on what stage and season in your life, we all dream of that perfect spouse, the one that does and sees life the way we do. But I'll tell you, AI is truly better than <laughs> the perfect spouse. And the re reason I say that is because AI doesn't talk back. <laughs> AI will do what you've asked it to do. And in fact, you can massage it and it'll do even more and more and more. So I love that. And then the perfect assistant. Over the years, I've had some outstanding assistants that helped me develop products, processes that blew my mind, but there was still something there that I had to tweak. And that's the same thing true with AI. You're still going to have to treat, tweak it to teach it how to work with you. It is not a cookie cutter. Yes, it will give you a response that it gave Julie and John, but you want to customize that so that it works for you. Give it your product name. Tell it about your speech. Tell it when it gives you results, go back and say, no, make it funny, make it humorous, make it sad, make it whatever you want to be conveyed. You have to be willing to do it and talk to this tool because it truly is the perfect partner. Now, I mentioned this before, but I want to just share again how this partnership, how you can harness AI to your advantage. Think about your time. And I say this all the time. Time is money. <laughs> time is money. And when we can save time, but yet produce more and more and more, we're actually increasing our revenues. The insights that you're going to get from AI. Now, keep in mind, AI, there's a lot of talk about it being biased. Yes. There's a lot of talk about AI having a female voice or male voice. There's a lot of talk out here. You have to work with these tools to get it to where it learns you and how you want to operate and the insights that it can give. You want to also go back and track and make sure they're accurate. Today, I was looking at AI and it gave me some data, data, excuse me, and it referenced 2021, which it was relevant in 2021. We're in 2023. I needed something more current. So I had to go in and then reposition and tell AI to give me some different results. When you use AI as a tool, folks, you're going to be able to have a global reach. That is, if that is your desire, because now we know the internet allows us to speak around the world, the cost efficiency, but more importantly, the confidence and the competitiveness that you'll be able to achieve utilizing AI. It's time to harness the power. I want to give you some examples of how you can use it as a speaker, chatbots, Smart assistants. If you're doing stuff with e-payments, I have speaking programs. I have coaching programs. I have a ton of stuff. I use AI to help me set it up to actually give me the verbiage to ensure that the page is speaking volume to the audience I'm attracting. Customer service, facial recognition, text editors. I have amazing tech ex editor that I use that I absolutely love. And that's why today I want to share with you some tools in just a moment, we're going to go into what I call the hands-on. I'm going to invite and challenge you all to take screenshots because I want to see or I want to encourage you all to try it if you're not already trying and already using it. So here we are, hands-on. Who's ready for some hands-on? Give me a hands up if you're ready for some hands-on. <laughs> Enough talking, Kimberly. Show me the magic or as I think Tom Cruise says, show me the money. <laughs> this is the time for me to show you the money. So now let's look at some tools. Look at some tools right here. Again, I invite you to take a screenshot. Grow your speaking with AI. Now I'm giving you some, what I consider not generic, but some baseline ones because there's so many more out there. Speech coach, Yodi. I love this one because if you're new to speaking or you want to enhance your speaking, this is a tool you can utilize and they actually have a free option to help you go online, live in your computer, just like we are today. And it'll give you feedback. It'll tell you about your pace. It'll tell you about your eye content, your eye contact, excuse me, your content, all those various things. Because as a speaker, you want to be polished. You want to show up in such a way that people will invite you back or pay you the big bucks. And this tool will help you. 
Jasper AI, and I use this one for so many things. Right here, I talked about AI copywriter. Now we know as speakers, we have to promote our brand, our business, so we can increase our bottom line. This is going to help you write that copy. If you're creating a website, if you're on social media, if you're doing these different tools, excellent tool for you. I love being able to take my words from a presentation and put it in a blog, put it in a Facebook post, put it in an email, because I believe that in order for us to have that continuity, we've got to show up top of mind. We need to be at the top of their mind. And that's through our email list, through our regular newsletters. Otter allows me to do that. I'll throw this. I actually use Otter here on Zoom as well. There's an Otter copy you can put right in. It'll take every single word that I've said on this meeting and put it in word format that we can use. This one, this next one, I want you to write this down. It's really, really important. B-I-D-Y-O dot I-O. Video dot I-O, basically. Video conversion. Let me explain this one. 60-minute presentation you did for ABC Corporation. You happen to have videotaped the whole thing. Lots of nuggets within that presentation. You take it over to video I-O and it will convert it to small snippets that you can use to promote your brand, your business, your talk. You get 75 minutes free per month, 75 minutes, friends. So if you're really looking to grow, this is a power tool. And I use a, I put Canva, I put AI YouTube consultant. I, I must have mistyped that one. Canva, just being your resource. Canva just released some new releases yesterday. I love, love, love Canva because it not only allows you to show up visually, so people can see your brand. As you can see this presentation right here, I created this in Canva using some of their AI tools. And this is beautiful because when I go before my audience, they can see how it works. Now let's look at the social media side of speaking. Chat GPT, it does everything. You guys know that. Repurpose IO, auto post on social media. If you're trying to show up consistently and regularly, get a system that will work for you. Video IO will allow you to take that 60 minute presentation, repurpose it in your YouTube, use it in your blog, use it in your newsletter. You can do that and repurpose will allow you to do that and auto post on your behalf. Synthasia, another one, virtual AI representative, there to help you, support you and help you even with chat body and things of that nature. VidIQ is that AI YouTube consultant. So this is a little bit different than video IO. VidIQ, this is a magic tool. It'll tell you based on the content that you speak and teach on, what are the buzzwords? What are the words to use to SEO to bring your content to the top so that the world can see? It'll give you content, things that you can use to really touch base and fine tune so you show up well. And then Dally. E2, I love this one because this one's, they're even repurposing this one a little bit more. Initially, it was all about art to text, but I see them doing a lot more with this tool as well. I hope you took a screenshot because this, again, these are tools that are going to help you grow your business. And then here's a few more that I think you'll love. Your bottom line, that's the cha-ching. <laughs> that's how you put the dollars in your pocket. The first two were as well, but now we're looking at the, the profit, the presentation side. The first one is Beautiful AI. Now I didn't use it for this one, but I use Beautiful AI often to give me some prompts for slides. What can I add as a visual? This I did on my own because I love I love creative. I love the, the visual aspect of it. Jasper AI, another one we spoke about earlier, it can write sexy copy. And that's what I love about any of the tools, whether it's ChatGPT, Jasper, you can say, make it sexy, or maybe make this appeal to 12-year-olds, make this appeal to college students, speak to women business owners. Depending on your audience, you can go and find an AI tool that's going to give you the right formula to create the right mix, to create the right solution for whomever you're serving. I've already spoken about Synthasia. I love it because it helps you create landing pages. I was on another tool that I used yesterday 
It's a proprietary tool that I use as my CRM and they've integrated now where I can just say, here's what I'm building, create this landing page. Now it doesn't do everything for me. I still have to give my brain and my direction, tell it what type of pictures I want, but guess what? It works and it creates magic. Now, I think AI is magic. It's like putting your magic wand out and going, Bing! and I know if you're anything like me, you want magic to happen in your business as a speaker. And this is what it'll do. You'll see the SEO expert. This is where if you want to show up, this is a tool that'll help you show up in the marketplace. Because I know when we show up, we actually have an opportunity to go up. So speakers, hopefully you've captured those three slides. If not, raise your hand. I'll go back and share them again. But I tried to stay on them long enough that you can capture. But here's some things I want you to think about. AI is a powerful tool. I told you that, especially when you use it. But I want you to think about how AI can pose some challenges. And this is what I say to you. Use AI to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. I think a lot of people, when they initially started using AI, they let AI tell the story for them. They let AI talk without any emotion, without any personal connection. And when you look at that, that's what can happen if you don't customize it, if you don't tell it who you are and how you want to show up in the world. There's a lot of things because technology is a tool. It's a resource when we use it the right way. We know that there's all good, bad, and evil, but I think this is something we can use to our advantage. So I challenge you to think about that. Use your voice, not just the computer's voice. Use yours and don't allow that to be your challenge. So AI doesn't replace our creativity, friends. It empowers it. Are you looking to be empowered today? Are you looking to change the state of your business? to change your bottom line? If so, I want to challenge you to incorporate AI in. I have four strategies, four strategies to help you grow your business. Excuse me. Innovate, penetrate, activate, accelerate. And I'm going to switch the order. Innovate, activate, penetrate, accelerate. That's what it's all about. And when you go here to innovate, here's how you can use AI. And I've given you some examples, but I want to give you a little bit more for brainstorming looking at market trends and creating prototypes for your business. And this next slide, I just show you what innovation is all about the ideation process. How do I create what I want to create? If you all were in my house right now, you probably go crazy because my boards, I have boards, whiteboards all over. I have thousands of notes, ideas, things that I have done and want to do. I don't know if you've been around for a while, but I have a book that's titled Millions of Possibilities. And it's all about taking your ideas from inspiration to monetization. So I love the ideation process. And that's what Innovate is all about. Using AI as that tool to brainstorm and come up with ways that you can really move your business forward. The second one is Activate. Looking at your current processes, looking at what you can implement in the space that you exist. Even as a speaker, we know speaking is a field where there's so many people out there, but there's only one of you. How do you innovate, ideate in such a way that you bring people to you? And that's by streamlining, looking at, oh, I'm doing this, but how can I use AI to help me do this faster, better, stronger? How do I implement and optimize what I currently have? Now, when we think about innovate, when we think about activate, I want you to think about this word, action. Action. I think for myself personally, there's a lot of thinking that goes on here. But I think we have to go beyond the thinking and get into the action. I left these lines here. These are things for you. And if, if you want, please feel free to drop in the chat. I'll send you this presentation so that you can write some action steps for yourself. There's one thing to think about it. There's another thing to go into action. The next one is about penetrating because now you've implemented, you've activated. How do you penetrate that market? First, you have to define it, number one, right? Then you have to develop those strategies. And here's what AI can help you do. Help you define your target market. Because I think as a business consultant, as a business strategist, this has probably been one of the biggest challenges that people face. 
they come into and say, I want to serve people, not all people. Yeah, you can do that. But we know that we have to nail that down a little bit more, right? The riches are in the niches. So we have to look at who is that that we want to serve? Who we want to speak to? Who do we want to stand on that stage before? And then tailor strategies just for those people. Once you've identified it, tell AI, give me some examples. Give me some ideas on how I would speak to investment bankers. How would I speak to IT computer programmers in their 30s? How do I? AI is there waiting for you. And it'll allow you to also penetrate and expand online. See, we've lived in a world <laughs> where we spoke in person for so long, but thanks to the pandemic, now there's so many online opportunities. I started teaching as a college professor back in 2001 online, which I thought was ridiculous. But I tell you, it was one of the best things ever. And as a result, my business has progressively grown since 2001 online because I then began to understand the model even more so now with the technologies today. So when you think about penetrate, think about dominate. How do I dominate the marketplace <laughs> with what I have and what I want to offer to the world? Because you can penetrate, dominate. Those are the terms that I put together. Just think about that. And then the next one is accelerate. This is the implementation, but not just on the implementation, but on the fast pace. How do we go a little bit faster using what we have? What I tell people, and you probably know this, there's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. It's your unique touch, your unique style, how you present that makes it unique in the marketplace. And now is your time to accelerate to really implement what you have, enhance it, and look at how do I scale it? Connie talked about writing a book. That's one of the best business cards you can have. As a speaker, There's it builds your credibility. People say, oh, I want Ralph Dieter at my conference because he wrote a book and he's talking about this topic. That's magic. That's scaling. That's a podcast. I have a podcast. I have a book. All these tools are in place to help me show up on the stage, to help me build the credibility and actually perform at my best. And so when you think about accelerate, here's what I want you to do. Run, ha! run, run, and keep running. If you know anything about me, I am a runner. I just came back from running the Berlin Marathon. I've been running every single day for the last eight years. And I'll tell you, that's what this business is about. If we're speaking, we should be running. Run across the stage. Let them see who you are and how you can enhance their business, their practice, their knowledge base with the information that you have that you've used AI to power up with. Friends, I'll tell you, don't live down to expectations. Go out there and do something remarkable using the tools that we have at our fingertips. I have the AI the, the robot and it shows the fingertips because that's where the magic happens. So I want you to lead with curiosity, innovate with purpose and shape a future. We are really, really, really hard to be a part of. AI will help you do that. And I know it firsthand. I've been using it. I love it. And for those of you that may want a little bit more, because I gave you a little test, I have a program called the AI Business Accelerator, Empowering Entrepreneurs, Intensifying Innovation. And it's for all industries, but it really gives that deep dive into AI, what it is and how it can help you. So now stay connected. I'm on social media. I'm here at the Speakers Bureau, available for questions, comments, thoughts. Plug in, get connected with me. Join my newsletter, learn more about how you can use AI as a speaker, as a business professional, and really take your business to the next level. With that, that's all I have, friends. I'm so excited that I was given this opportunity, Tom, the team, to speak on AI, because I really know that when you use it, you can leverage, grow your business in ways that you never dreamt possible. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster.